solid performance. He returns with some of the materials we need. Ain't always much to say. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. He keeps telling himself he better watch his step. Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. Hopes he'll never see one again. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. He's come back and digest just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Up north is where the gas for the foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old foreman is keeping his fellas in check. Almost like he's showboating. Crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. Heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. <laughs> Inside the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. With a good length of Mies gun, that bow's like new again. Kid's lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Odd 
place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. for the biggest dump in town. Scumbag Alley. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Gershaw's sunny disposition. They always said old Gershaw wouldn't go without a fight. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. He has the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started. He comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. The windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Kid ain't finished here yet. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure though. Somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world rain from the sky. twice about risking his hive. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security is all fire. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery.
soldiers make the path together. Quick and careful is the only way to go. One of them bridges whips the kid along. Finds a spyglass, like the ones they'd use to search the stars. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. to the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is... Who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Tough break. Unlike the kid, that core ain't coming back. No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. 